Let's go in more detail about some of the risks of compression fractures. And a big one is osteoporosis, which is a disease that affects over 200 million people worldwide. Now, explain to us a little bit about osteoporosis. And I imagine this is one of those causes for the compression fractures as well with the brittle bones, correct? Absolutely. Okay. So uh, bone isn't homogeneous. There are two parts to the bone. There's the outer wall, which is the cortex, and that's usually real strong, and that right. provides you more stability. And then there's the inner part, which is spongy bone, and that really doesn't provide much stability. Mm -hmm. The inner part of the bone actually is where we have most of our bone marrow. So that's where the red blood cells are made okay. for our blood. With osteoporosis, the outer wall of bone becomes thinner, and the inner, the spongy part, becomes wider and more expansile. Therefore, mm -hmm. even though bones look the same, um, if you were to take an x-ray, you could really see that there's a difference with time. Right. So uh, osteoporosis causes weakening of all our bones, but particularly with the vertebra, with spinal bones, mm -hmm. because there is so much of that inner spongy bone that's surrounded by the cortical bone. So that thinning of the bone then, that sort of causes that degenerative uh, loss of density? You got it. And okay. then sometimes even with something as minor as a cough or a sneeze. Wow. Or I just took a wrong step and all of a sudden the bone just kind of gives way. Right. The inner part, the spongy bone kind of collapses. The cortex, the outer wall breaks and then the bone kind of squinches down, right. kind of accordions down. That's compression fractures. Mm -hmm.